Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to Late Night Pouring. It's 1.02 a.m. on a Wednesday night. It was a snow day here in Northern Virginia. No work, no school. Delayed school tomorrow, which means me and my daughter can sleep in a little. And these are the kinds of excuses I tell myself when I stay up really, really late. Um, let me show you the results from the last two videos as I eat my pretzel. Mm. So the last video was the um, hair dryer pour. It was this one here? It's all dry. There's the top with the little wispies, so cute, and my little stems, and the other two leaves or flowers or three. I redid the bottom at the end, um, but it's very pretty and delicate, and it turned out quite nice. So, uh, yep. That'll be going up for sale on Etsy in a week or two, so pretty happy with that guy. And then the painting that was Kill the Caterpillars, those little buggers, where I threw the cup on the top. That's this one here. This one's going to get um, some extra treatment done to it uh, in the next couple days. So this isn't the final result. This is just the dried result. But there's parts of it there there's parts from the old pour that i left on the canvas and then that middle section those you know the gack cells you just you can't beat them and for those who think that gack 800 cells stay little no -uh. look at those big suckers look at them they're huge so uh i adore this one i love it love it love it totally love it it's one of my favorites um, it might stay in my personal collection. We'll see. And then finally, I had one more. Uh, I had leftover paint from the um, blow dry painting and I just did this little eight by eight. So it turned out kind of cute, little flower there. Great little cells on that too. Uh, and then I think that's all I have to show you. So um, just a few minutes ago, I had a, um, I was going to do a pour on a 18 by 24 and found out, you know, put my pegs in. I hammer them in, so I know they were in, and it was not level, and it turned out that the canvas uh, is warped on one side, so I can't use it. Um, and since I don't have any other canvas, I only have 18 by 24, the um, pre gessoed ampersand boards, and I don't want to experiment on one of those guys. I'm gonna pour over this painting. Um, I like it well enough, it's fine, but it's just nothing special, so I figured for my experiment, because this is an experiment, um, I'd give it a go. So I read on the um, Golden site, they did a test to see how much water you can add to their paint um, before it disintegrates. And it turns out you can add quite a bit, more than 30% which is the guide most of us had been going by. So with that said, I was like, oh, well let me make my paint super, super thin and see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Not trying for cells or anything fancy. I just really wanna see what happens when you have completely, I'm not gonna blow dry it or anything and I can't turn, dare, I don't dare turn on a blow dryer at you know, 1 a.m. But my paint is very, very runny. Um, so I thought I would just mix up a bunch of bright, happy colors. They're all very, very thin. No trace. They pour right into the cup. I did add silicone, and they do have my regular pouring medium recipe, which was 16 ounces of Elmer's Glue Wall, 4 ounces of GAC 800, and 4 ounces of water for 24 ounces. So... We'll see, and now I have entirely too much paint because this is just a 10 by 20. Um, but maybe if it's, if it's successful, I will just do another pour like this, I guess, because now it's all quite runny. Um, yeah, I do have just two drops of that used to say spot on treadmill silicone. And I'm just gonna layer some colors in a cup um, put a little weight down, pour some white around it, and give it a good tilt and see what happens, just for giggles. So that's kind of the plan. 
colors for tonight are we have some Naples Yellow Deep Amsterdam. We have some Amsterdam, uh, what is this? Uh, Napathol Red Light, basically their version of orange. And that guy, we are, oh, I'm almost all Amsterdam, not quite though. Uh, we have Naples Yellow Red by Amsterdam. You can tell I like Amsterdam paints a lot. That's this guy here. We have Amsterdam, my favorite light blue, their sky blue light. That's this one, lots of colors. And then my two uh, non-Amsterdam, I'm killing off some Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton. All gone for that guy. And then I have a cup here of pink that was old. And what did I do with the thingy? I don't remember what it is. Honest to God, it's pink by somebody. <laughs> Sorry. Don't remember. I don't know what I did with the uh, tube. Oh, here it is. Sorry. It is Artist Loft. That's right. Professional Series. This is Quinacridone Magenta. That guy right there. So let me get these off the canvas. Let's see what happens. Maybe it'll be a disaster. I don't know. But only one way to find out. Let me just move this out of the way. I uh, mix paints and I gotta say I got the biggest giggle from all you guys writing to me with all your various pronunciations of the word mauve and mauve and mauve and mauve and <laughs> mallow and <laughs> I, I, it was really really funny um hmm. well I'm just gonna pour these down the side of the cup since they're so thin. No matter how you pronounce it, I didn't think any of them sounded great, in my opinion, but next time I'm just gonna call it maroon. Lots of bubbles in my paint too. What else did I want to tell you about? Oh, for those on Team Johnny Depp, don't get me wrong, I love me some Johnny Depp. I like him better than Orlando Bloom, but for my daughter, you know, I just want to steer her toward the good guy. That said, and I'm a happily married woman, you know, but if I wasn't, let's just say Johnny Depp could eat crackers in my bed. That's all I'm gonna say, so. Um, did I get them all once? Was that one pass? Do a little bit of white. Oh no, that's dark blue. Let's not do that. Oh, you already have a light blue. No, let's not do that. Um, but that's going to be green if I do that next. All right, we'll do a little bit. Uh, yeah, I've always, I've always, uh, sided with the bad boys. I was a total rock and roll girl, rebel in my youth. So I uh, totally gravitated toward it, toward the Johnny Depp's of the world. They were rubbing it right up my alley. Mm -hmm. So these colors are more of my um, South Beach colors. That's like a ton of paint, I feel like already. That's because I have so much of it. I'm gonna stop. Did I do like two passes of everything? I think I just need the peach and I'm good to go. Yep, or I guess the blue, and we're done. That's a lot of paint, all right. Pretty happy, look at that. Little sandwich. Mm. Oh, and before I forget, I discovered um, a new artist just like a half an hour ago whose work, she does um, 
the alcohol inks, which I want to get into. So I've been watching a lot of videos on alcohol inks and I have some alcohol inks and I'm dying to give them a try. And if you like that type of art, go check out artist Jazz, Jasmine Shaw on Instagram. Amazing, amazing work. Um, just her gallery was so beautiful. Loved it. So that's my shout out um, for another artist tonight. And speaking of shout outs, let me shout out to Lydia because Lydia, I need to give her credit because she's the one who turned me on to um, MCE Art to Michelle. And kind of, what do I do? I'm just flip cup this or pour it in there. Flip cup it and pour right around it. This is a lot of paint, man. Holy good googly moogly. Tiny canvas. Bloop. Mm. I don't think I need to do this, but I'm gonna. So this should be like a big video because I think on YouTube it'll be, um, it should say number 100. So 100 videos since last April. It's nearly one every three days, every four days or so. But it's not really 100 because I skipped number 85. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and name this one. Uh, number 85 and then I'll do 100 and when I do 100 I think I thought it'd be fun to like circle back and do the same style I did for my very first one which was the traditional flip and drag and I haven't done a flip and drag um, in like 15 20 videos so that's the plan for next time all right I'm gonna like flip this over but try and save half the half the colors in the cup. And then we're just gonna tilt it around and see what it looks like. Oh, I did pretty good. I am I have a 12 by 12 sitting nearby too that I could use. Let me just go, I want some, uh -uh, where do you think you're going? Oh, see, it's so runny, it wants to just take off and go everywhere. I'm not gonna, um, torch it because I have a feeling if I torch it it's just gonna um they're just gonna get all out of shape it's so thin I think this is more about pretty colors maybe I'll torch it at the end let me throw on some gloves look at it it's getting little cells they're gonna get all warped See that? We're gonna pour those guys off. All right, where do I wanna go? Maybe I should just torch in the white at least. There's a ton of bubbles. Look at the damn caterpillars. And I mixed up my uh, silicone too. Jeez. Hmm. Uh, go that way, I don't know. Just kind of go. Let's go back and wreck the caterpillars because I just hate them. Mm -hmm. Like the bane of my existence. Yeah, it's gonna get cells from the gack, but I'm just gonna like let them roll off or whatever. I just kind of want to see what it's like. It has a film over all this blue, the uh, peachy color over the blue. Hmm. I 
just get the canvas covered first. Whee! Look at it go. It's like working with high fluids. up in one corner. I'm going to try and keep that little thing of white there. I kind of like that. Bring it all that back down to the middle. I'm going to take this other white off. I don't even know if you guys can see. Let me come over here. we got like a little design going on. I'm going to roll with it. And come back up here. Man, a ton of paint. I don't know. Do I pour off the white or not? I need coverage on that side. I guess I do. And this part here looks really mottled. Let's see. Do I have enough paint to do that? I know it's thin, but I didn't put that much on the canvas. Yeah. Come back. Lots of speckles. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not like overly impressed or anything. It's fine. It's very speckly. Mostly white, isn't it? I don't know if I'm liking this. Good little experiment. Gotta love the GAC, man. They're amazing cells. That stuff is just too good. He's moving around a little. See if you like it. Maybe we'll pour more paint on it. Because it's so thin. Like I feel like I can move it all around, but in reality, um, it's really quite stretched on the canvas. So much so that I can see like canvas on the edges. So I probably should not do that anymore. What do we think of that? It's kind of cosmic. But I feel like I want to keep playing. I do. You guys are going to kill me because I'm going to wreck it. Let's take a good look before I do. There's a cat hair. <sighs> yeah, we're going to wreck it. We're going to put the rest of this on here. I pour it out pretty quick. You know what we'll do? Let's do this for fun. Because this is all just experiment tonight. We're just playing. Let's dive bomb my white again. And put that on it. That'd be fun, right? Can you guys see? Let's dive bomb some colors into the white. Because I have like a quarter cup of white. A little orange. Little peach. Whee! Little on top. I forgot how much uh, just a regular old dirty pour was because this is fun. Been layering for way too long because this is just the bomb. It's just, you know, you never know what you're going to get. So, I can totally relate on why people stop doing it. But dang, it's fun. Look at that. It, I should have waited because, um, or I, sh I should have torched less 
because it's so thin, every, all the cells um, grew and they got that cloudy effect. And I've seen, a, um, who does those? At least Fournier does those with the cloudy effect. And so does Mel. And I don't know if I like them, to be honest. They're just, they're just not my thing, I guess. What do we do with this? Just pour it on? I'll just pour it on. Look at the pretty happy colors. I know you guys think I'm crazy. Look at all the bubbles though. <laughs> this is what happens at late at night when you have too much paint. Now I do have a lot of paint on my canvas. So now I do gotta like go all over the place. Wee! Look at it go. Cells are gonna get all stretched out. Look how bright and happy the colors are though. Thank you. Bye bye. Save some paint. Come down this end. All stretched out. Have to all get out. Let's stretch it out. What's it gonna do? God, oh, the colors are so pretty. I don't think we do with this white in my cup. We'll hold on to it for a second. Let's go. I love this right here. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna bring, try and bring that down a little bit. Not worried about cells getting wonky. Hopefully they'll stretch out so much you can't even tell that they were cells. That's the idea. Oh, we'll try to keep some of the pink. Hold on, let me back up, keep some of that, I'm gonna get rid of the white, but keep the pink. I'm just making a nice design. What looks pretty? What looks good? Go up a little bit. That's kind of pretty. I don't like you. Make a little star out of you. Huh. It's really bright. Maybe I don't put that there. It doesn't go with the rest of the painting. Maybe just a little bit of you. Just a little bit of you? Yeah, just a little bit. That's better. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's still very, very vibrant. Interesting. All the thin paint. All right, let's give it a torch, but not so much this time. And uh, 
see how they grow. I have a really finicky uh, torch this time. Hello. Thank you. Let me see. Whoa. All right, let's stop. Let's give that a second. See if they grow since it's so thin. Look at all the blue cells. The thing with the super thin paint like this is you really can't tilt after the fact because your cells will go They'll get uh, bent out of shape super fast. I don't know if I like this blob thing right here. I know I don't, but I think I'm stuck with it. They're growing to a decent size, gotta say. But the background, the background is fantastic. Really super pretty. I'm gonna torch a little more and then I'm gonna set this to the side and I have a little 12 by 12 um, I could do. I'm out of white, but we don't need it. Um, are you done? All right, don't get too crazy. You wanna keep the background. All right, I'll, um, I'll get down close on that guy. Well, let me uh, check my sides. I need my two corners covered. Hold on. Let me grab the corners. Oh, this needs some pink over here to match up. This side needs blue. What does this side need? Little spot right there, and I need this pink right here. Okay. There's one. Let's knock out this other guy too. Come on. I'm just making room on the other end of my island. Oh yeah. You know how you guys like some of you write to me if I don't film for a week or 10 days and you're like, where are you? So like, I notice when some of you guys don't comment. So I wanna know, where's Mary H? Where's Tamara? Where's Stacy? Where are you guys? Wow, the cells are still growing. Holy moly. Gag cells, gag cells, gag cells. I need that one there. Um, let me move him off to the side. There's my mess on my tarp. And let me throw this old ratty. I don't know what was going on with this one. Just a little 12 by 12. And this is fairly clean. This has a little bit of white at the bottom. So I'm gonna use this. And we'll just do the same thing. We'll just layer 
some colors down the side. And there's a pink. everything dang I still have a ton of paint a light blue that should do me I'm gonna do just pour this one on too let's do a little more colors let's do another pink some more peach more yellow. That's more orange. Why not? All right. Here goes nothing. Let's just Let's just do that straight down. Looks like a tree ring pour, except that it move in circles. That's just a straight pour. God, the colors are so, it's stretching out. I'm just gonna let it move around. There's some paint on my corners. What we'll do is we'll take like, we'll take uh, our colors since we have so much we'll put peach on there. In our corners to hide up whatever ugly green that was. There we go. What do I do with this? Oh well, my hands are a mess, so I'm not going to bother with gloves. It's going to wiggle back and forth, right? here and come back go over here come back put the thingy in the middle come down my end we'll go over here first I like my peach corners now Keeping them. Paint over there. Come down. Oh, keep the peach, Karen. Come up. I don't like that. I don't like that stuff in the middle. That bugs me. What do I do about it? Uh, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Let's just say bye bye to it all. Let's just stretch it all out again and see what happens. Is it gone? Let's come back the other way. I think it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> this is so wild. This one's wild looking. What do you guys see? Just a little further. Check that out. I don't know what it is. It's kind of cool looking. Totally not my style, but I kind of kind of like it. Aw, why don't you get a sell? Why did you have to show up? Always one in a group. What's this, too? I wonder if I can pour that off. Think I can keep going? Just a little bit? Is it going? It needs a second. 
Am I getting too crazy? Is it moving? Anything happening? I can't tell. I'm gonna keep going until it looks like it's gone. I'll give it a little jiggle. Looks like it's gonna go. Did I hurt anything? No. Still got the one cell. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna have it, at least have it be round. Oh, now I got two. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm not torching that either. Or I don't know. Should I torch it? This is where I need you guys. Let me put some more peach in this one corner. Here. Oh, I missed the button. Where's my peach? bunch of peach right there. This corner's good. Peaches on the corner. Come and get them. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Hope you guys get that reference. Peaches from a can. They were brought here by a man. From a store downtown. Okay. Millions of peaches. I'm gonna have that song in my head now. I think I can pour off that cell. I either want it to have zero cells or I'm like tempted to torch it up. But I'm afraid if I torch it up, you know what? Let me take a look at the cells, if they're nice cells on the other painting. Some of them are really, really nice. And others, others kind of modeled into a million different colors because it was so thin. So I don't know if I want to torch. <clears throat> I say not. I say we show restraint and we walk away. We've had our fun experimenting for the night with thin paint. So, and that's kind of pretty. I don't know what you do with it. I don't know how sellable it is, um, but it was fun and it's pretty. And maybe that's good enough. Let me uh, wipe off my hands real quick and I'll get you guys down. Thanks to the Presidents of the United States for the song inspiration. What time is it? 1.43. <laughs> Clean up and go to bed. All right. So here's the first little guy. I mean, it's just, you know, a whole bunch of pretty colors all swirled together with two cells. One over there that I might try to pour off. And then this little one in the middle. He's like the little, the little beauty mark. Where'd he go? Right there. He's a little beauty mark. <clears throat> but I love the lines and the colors are really pretty. And that's about it. And then the one over here. <clears throat> see how the cells, where is it? See how the cells kind of got modeled? They're still pretty. They're a million different colors now. And they're not crisp and clean. Some of them are up here. Wait, I'm off. There, see? Um, and like, I love this area up here. Let me see what it looks like overall. Oops. 
jury's out on this one for me. It might get scraped and chalked up to <clears throat> a learning a learning event. So, and all of a sudden I'm a very hoarse and I can't talk. So, hello, this is my late night sexy voice. I'll see you guys next time. So this will be video number 85 and the next one will be the celebratory 100. So I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.